I see Rajamohan and Satyamurti Aya, uh, Karun, most of them are here. So we had some interesting discussion on that. Let us see, let us continue that uh, discussion. So uh, may I request Tarun to uh, continue from the place where we concluded and the Sunday session. Tarun. Uh, so uh, to give you a brief summary on uh, on Sunday or Saturday night here, we uh, briefly talked about how the zygote is formed and how the life force is uh, is is expanding and closing um, depending on that. So usually people, I mean, generally people didn't have much of a question around the birth, uh, life before birth. Um, then we slowly um, explained that as and when the birth, um, the zygote gets formed, it, it attracts the uh, life force particle around it. And then it, it takes the amount of life force particle that it needs to, um, to build itself. And then um, the child is born. Um, then we moved on to um, life after death. And that's where things became very interesting so um there is there's two things that um we discussed um, about how the three bodies get separated where the physical body which is heavier body goes to the uh, the earth the astral body and the castle body which uh, which gets separated because of the sexual vital fluid not able to hold them all together so the physical body merges with uh, the earth the astral body and the castle body slowly merges with um, the absolute space. But then we, um, there was the initial theory that Maharishi said was that um, the, the astral body and the castle body immediately merges, uh, doesn't merge with the absolute space. Um, it, it goes to various levels and then it, it starts merging. Um, then... Uh, and towards the end, I've also heard from senior professors that Magarishi um, said that's not how it works. It directly merges. There is no layers of merging. So um, Satyamurti Aya had uh, his input. Raj Mohan Aya also had uh, their input. So, and then we concluded and we waited for uh, you, Aya, to come. And then we uh, continue the discussion about what happens to life force and these three bodies after the uh, what we call death occurs. Now Rajmohan wants to share something. Rajmohan, please. Ah, oh, Rajmohan. Ah, uh, 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 doctor. Uh, uh, as uh, Tarun said, uh, the last point, uh, uh, various levels are there. This was uh, discussed, uh, uh, I understood from Magrisi earlier, but uh, uh, in last stages, it is directly goes to the uh, absolute space. Eh? Uh, that is not, I heard it actually. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that's a new... Oh, dimensions uh, given by uh, Satyamurti Aya. Mm -hmm. So we will oh, ask oh. Satyamurti Aya to explain it now. Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh, why that? Satyamurti Aya, please explain it. Yes, yeah, Satyamurti Aya, can you unmute yourself? Sartimutiya wanted to hear it from you, uh, as you have also heard. Hello. 
Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
that's when um, Iyer told me that, yes, Magarishi said um, that um, people talk about these layers, uh, the souls that moving from one body to the other, which again, we uh, learned from the scriptures, like moving the shirt from one to the other doesn't exist. I also asked him a question like that, why people think that there is a, there's a soul somewhere externally outside suddenly comes and merges into a mother's womb and then it works. I again told him, I don't think that is true because if the soul is somewhere else and then comes to a parent's womb, it will not inherit what the parents have. And what I have learned and what I've experienced it, my skin, my thought process and everything is 90% influenced by my parents till I become on my own and then I start changing my own direction. So then he explained that Magarishi clearly told that our offsprings or our um, children's are our next uh, inheritance. There is no, the next genma, what he calls, is only our children, not somewhere else you're going to be born or anywhere else in birth, which I kind of understood and then I agreed with the yeah. Then come when it was death, he said that if it's going to be so many layers, when the life force is directly merges when it goes out of the body, when the life force directly merges itself, becoming divine dust particle into absolute space, what is that is absolute space versus what is earth, what is solar system? In an Advaitic philosophy, there is no difference or layers around this. So that's how the interaction started. And he kind of agreed that what you see and what you feel is just a dream or something that you made up yourself to be seen and understood like this, which means the absolute space is not somewhere huge, big or anywhere. It's right there, right in front of you, right there. So if the life force particle becomes divine dust particle and merges itself with the absolute space, it's not layer. It's just happens. And when I do Turiyatita meditation uh, or nine center meditation and start Turiyatita meditation, most people who would have come to my sessions would feel that I do not tell them to go all the way, individually go to all the spaces. I tell them you merge yourself right where you are and feel the existence of absolute space. And if I can feel that way during meditation, that's exactly what should happen when I die. So there, there should be nothing else going on or anything special going on when I die. So that is what I understood and I felt. And each time I meditate, this is what I feel is like, there is no layers in there. If I understand my astral body and if I understand my castle body, I will be able to immediately merge. The only difference is, will I be able to merge the experiences with my physical body or I will be merging without my physical body. Death, I feel that I will be merging without my physical body, leaving my physical body to the earth. While meditating, I merge myself with my physical body and understand that experience. That is what I understood from all the meditation and the interactions uh, with uh, Lachmanaya. So um, that's plain straight on from my head and my experience yeah that's uh no extra words attached so then we so don't need uh, the, the meditation at all right then we don't need the meditation no, see this is again the same question <laughs> happened is when you do the the meditation say for instance you are in shakti kalam maybe what when you go in in layers i feel that Maharishi made us a placebo to go in a step-by-step -step procedure. Maybe you are in, say, Shakti Kalam, you are meditating and somebody comes and touches you and wakes you up or something like your children cries or anything. You immediately wake up and go. But if your astral body is there, your castle body is somewhere outside, somewhere out, how are you able to get up and go? Then they, will it come immediately merge? Is it going outside? Is it coming out? No, it's our experience that we are expanded state, not only bounded by the physical body, but the other bodies will have to have its own way of expressing itself. The way that it expresses itself is what Magarishi thought. I mean, this is again my theory. Um, I may be wrong, but this is my experience is 
the way he taught is that he makes us understand or impart the knowledge first but when the wisdom opens up slowly you will really understand that there is nothing outside there is nothing inside you just there and you are what you are there's several glimpses of things that has happened to me where i just felt like there is no physical body there is no castle body there is no um astral body no vijnana mayakosa no ananda mayakosa you are just what it is and that But is only, yeah, that we agree explain. that we agree that but without going in the higher way there will be the no shrinkage there will be the no that's what magrishi has given when we are going up and up then only we are expanding more and more um that i don't know how many of you know more purification we are able to get yeah i i i, I completely agree that's the that's... why why the duryadidam before that even we are getting into sun that we are completely losing our own self that's what we are trying to merge sun first that's what magrishi giving step by step process from, from the sun to no, i i completely agree the method and the technique that is taught is in that sequence and that is being taught over a period of time since magrishi is third year 35 years old until now it is being taught like this only i'm only telling what my experience and understanding when it okay. went beyond okay. that okay that's why i was very very clear i'm, um, I'm telling what my experience was not um arguing how the technique is being taught or how it is being told to meditate over a stage there are meditations that has been taught in the past where you do turiyatidam not by going upwards you just sit there and go and merge with the center of the earth i don't know how many of you know that but i have learned from one of the senior professor how you sit there and then you go to the center of the earth and then you still do the turiyatidam meditation so um again this is purely my understanding of meditating for so many years i may be wrong this is uh, tarun this is understandable whether you go up or down deep into the earth to the center of the earth at the center of the earth what do you have it is absolute space at the outer space and beyond all these things what do you have the space so exactly, what is yeah. present whether you go deep into you and into the air it is the same so that is not the problem so now let us uh, uh, shall we uh, have your views satyamurthy ayya okay okay we'll start now that yes. is sir let us uh, i will uh, explain in a different way okay you from birth to till have. from is it clear 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 okay from birth till now did your uh, life force took rest anywhere you are alive continuously yes yes sir yes break? sir yeah. no break no break so where from you have come one sperm one ovum these two are alive with the battery they joined and you are you were formed and to come out it took uh, 281 days and till then also it is continuous process and that sperm and ovum a cell from your parents from their birth till you were formed any rest for the soul no 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 rest no no it is a continuous process so if you go back till the almighty there is no break at all a continuous process each and every process is imprinted in that soul soul means it 
is almighty a continuous process and now you are uh, experiencing what it is means only when you can know that is energy particle energy particle is the uh, life force but it if, since it is a continuous process it has a, a, a chip like that is dna in the dna you you have all the imprints now let us take what is uh, the imprints and how it works and all if you you are in aggravated stage now it's, that is your unit of uh, life force is one means when your uh, your eye is uh, looking at the light uh, it is aggravated to 20 units or 30 units like that the hearing uh, um, unit also will increase to 20 30 like that so you are in aggravated stage it is emotional when you calm down you, when you realize the real one unit of your soul that is almighty so meditation is done to uh, to, to calm down you and come back to that thing so when you meditate turiyatit what it explains is you are realizing what where from you have come what is real and you are none but almighty each and every one have come from that one uh, almighty only so all are one brothers and sisters if you realize this authentically by perceptional level you are jnani yogi and as you said if the soul is coming and entering in between to the body the population should not increase day by day the population is increasing means it is through the genetic uh, uh, continuity only and now after death when you think immediately after the death the life force is only ether that is energy particles when it goes out it merges with almighty and uh, i ask you one question do you do shanti tavam for those who die, die? Uh, yes i yeah. why you are doing is it for the soul or for you for me not for the soul that you know no yes <laughs> then there is no layers answer is clear that's all so when it is getting out of your body it merges with almighty and why we are doing is those people who are attached are so close and sudden shock these things they are not able to come out of their mind so to console them to make them that it is in peace we are doing all these formalities i didn't do anma shanti for my wife because she became one with the almighty i am not uh, uh, having any doubt for that and uh, no confusion for me so i am in peace so if you understand that most of the th things we will change if, for example you are doing nine planet uh, meditations mm -hmm. what for you are doing suppose you have a, a certain effect uh, to clear that you are doing or what for you are doing tarun tell me <laughs> 
It is just for the physical body. Uh, I don't think uh, there is anything on the astral or the castle body. No, there is. When you are living, you are getting problem with planets. You say. Is ah, it that's... necessary to name uh, do name planet uh, 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 meditation? Honestly, meditation. I don't do, uh, yeah, I don't do nine planets meditation or uh, Panjabudha meditation. Uh, this is mostly people are doing. They say if they, to come out of the problem, but you are doing Turiyatit. Nine planet is one part of the Turiyatit are different. Uh, I feel it's all included. Um... Yeah, in the universe, our uh, solar system is only a fraction now. Right, yes. You cover that also. Yes. When you cover and you expand up to the universe, is this necessary? No, I'm explaining in a different way to under, make you understand better. So most of the people are going for horoscope and doing meditation and nine planet meditation and all. Understand? But yes, if you to. meditate, merge with universe, there, there won't be any anti-effect from any planet. And in horoscope uh, theory also, they write everything and they will uh, they conclude with, it will not work for meditators. When you meditate, when you merge, you are tuning with uh, uh, the ra uh, radiation. Only radiation is coming from each and every planet and the star and everything. You are tuning. So, you are adjusted to that. This I proved in that, uh, I posted on uh, uh, YouTube. In that I explained it, gave the demo. That is, I started the class by 10 o'clock, finishing by 5, uh, 5.30. Till then, I don't use uh, water. I, I, I didn't need that air cooler or AC and all. And I, I didn't have any thirst, not tired. I, I was fresh. Why? How? I tuned with sun radiation, that's all. I'm a man from OT, AC place, and I went to the a hot place. But I didn't sweat, I didn't become tired, I didn't use any instrument to cool me. So you have that power of mind to project and tune with any uh, Panjabhutas, anything. It is proved, uh, uh, that is why I posted that. So like that, if you understand what is soul, what is universe, what is life? It is only a part we are traveling. Understand clearly there won't be any doubt and we don't, won't do any harm to anybody. We respect ourselves. When you respect you completely, you cannot harm others. You will respect everybody. In that stage, okay. you understand and come. After death, what happens is, it is uh, merging with the Almighty. It is very clear. No complication will have, no doubt will be there. And all these uh -huh. uh, formalities, what we are doing is, for those who are in confusion, and to make them, uh, that is to support them and make them in peace, we are doing all these things. If any doubt, you can ask me now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now, let me uh, 
give my understanding well, please we have yeah we have three bodies physical mm. astral mm. and causal mm. Mm. and while we are living uh oh. we don't take our body to absolute mm. space we take only uh. our astral and causal bodies to the okay. space oh. and mm. there we merge with the spirit thing we get that feeling experiences mm. but mm. after the meditation you come back to earth and here oh. when you come back to earth you come back to your physical body okay and the experiences of the physical body astral and causal complex is different from what you have at the time of merging with the absolute space mm. in a after death the physical body is not there and it is the ascend or the mm. process of merging of the mm. astral and causal bodies mm. and the astral body is made up of the energy particles or divine dust particles or life force particles and their association okay even while we are living the mm. energy particles or divine dust particles they go out and come they leave the body yeah. they are not yours anymore they yeah. are not connected with you anymore yeah. they are different they merge immediately with the space to become magnetism mm. Mm. this is accepted understood but where are the imprints the imprints are there in the causal body the imprints are magnetic. in that the magnetic imprints uh, it yes. is there in the energy particle itself energy particle each energy particle has the imprints yes. as mother she says in multiple levels it is in the in biomagnetic genetic center it is in the cells it is in the atoms it is in the electrons proton yeah. neutrons it yeah. is in the yeah. dust particles everywhere it is but the limitation what is the impact of the uh, imprints in the energy particle or dust particle to that of the imprints in the biomagnetic genetic center of a individual okay. is there any difference between these two phenomenal difference is there the collective force the collective force is there so what is merging immediately is along with the even that dust particle has its causal component astral component and the physical component okay. what is present in the microcosm is present in the microcosm are you got connection is not good uh, it is universal pattern prints are uh, okay the universe is universe is made up of basically only one unit that is energy particle to hear no pardon avijay lakshmi is it audible yeah some disconnection in between here yeah. uh, in your phone on the yeah doctor Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. But it is the association. Vijay Lakshmi, am I audible? No, in between. You are able to hear me. Yeah, yeah. It's we are so, able to hear you, but in between is disconnecting. In between, right? So it is the single energy particle doesn't make an individual. you are not you are association of the innumerable energy particles and 
the association of the energy particles am i uh, audible let me make myself clear i am disturbed but i understood your point uh, doctor i will explain now okay 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 yeah. let okay. me complete the whole universe let is me complete. made up of so, basically two things let me continue and complete uh. Uh. so if it is a single energy particle it is not perceived at all but if it associates to form panchabhutas and then sabdatadus then the manifestation the understanding is different if you are in earth you have day and night you have the week days you have years it is operating in a different way but if you go beyond earth what is there day and night is not there and the impact of these planets are not there so everything depends on where you are where you operate from if you are operating at the earth level you have different experiences when you Material. are yeah so your experiences the impact under is on with rev with relevance to the with reference to the place where you are located the location is important and if you are able to be there without a location if you are present universally you merge with the absolute and you become the absolute then there are no experiences at all it is the experience yes. it is the experience yeah yeah and <laughs> of the three bodies physical is left at the time of death with the earth bound it merges with the earth as tarun said and the astral is a still is a physical entity it is the absolute space condensed the energy is condensed from the absolute surrounding self compulsive force and get locked up in a piece of space it becomes energy particle or divine dust particle the divine dust particle is different from absolute space absolute space has nothing to do with it is remains static all the time whereas the particle is giving coming to birth lives and dies there is no birth or death for space but there is birth and death living all takes place even for the divine dust particle so the divine dust particle is universal it is common it is present all over whereas when that becomes the panchabhutas their existence is progressively getting limited akash is identical with the space very close to the space air is has a limited existence not like space or akash and still more the heat and fire has still less limited water becomes still restricted existence when becomes a solid earth it is bound it has a body it has a boundary what the space was not having what the akash was having to this thing it is progressively coming down you become you absorb all the energy and manifest yourself as an entity whereas in turiyatita you are only space not even energy when you come to the akash level when you come to take the form of energy particle you descend down 
so now considering these facts and the life force after death the life force which was operating within the body leaves the body it becomes independent of the physical body and here the astral and the causal bodies are held together by the attractive and repulsive forces the akash and the particles have a grosser existence than the energy that is the magnetism magnetism is the energy particles dissolved in space back to space becoming one with the space so as long as this energy surcharged by the energy particle the space is known as universal magnetism or magnetism and when that magnetism magnetic energy dissipates is spent it becomes absolute space again so after death when the astral body and causal body remain united that is the in the causal body in the energy you have the imprints there what are the imprints condensed form of magnetism magarshi calls it magnetic domain i don't know how many people understand what is magnetic domain so these magnetic domains build up a wall they are deposited around the center of the genetic center that is up around the absolute space these are deposited and these remain with a living individual from birth to death after death they leave the body but this astral and causal body take time to separate and until they get separated they are bound by the energies in the imprints the imprints without the support of the spinning system of genetic center they become weak the life force particles the dust particles the energy particles they leave the system of life force progressively as that attractive power is less than the repulsive power so the particles are free to move they go as they leave this astral causal body complex connected by the genetic center which is weak they become weaker and they go what particles they leave the energy particles or dust particles or life force particles which is wind they all leave so what happens to those which have left this life force association they merge with the space in that way what uh, magarshi said before and after experience is the same the particles the dust particles the life force particles the life force merges with the space immediately without any steps as tarun has experienced during his meditation but the imprints are there they are in the causal body and they arrest the space absolute space in the physical in the living individual so those are physical body which is grosser though it has gone separately these two remain and when the uh, 
uh, energy particles life force particles leave when it becomes weak the life force is disappearing what is remaining is the causal body the causal body has no driving force in it because the energy comes from the life force to the causal body the magnetism generated by the life force only gives sustenance to the causal body but this energy magnetic energy which is condensed which is formed in the form of knots they are there they doesn't expand they don't have their independent existence so depending upon the density character personality of the imprints they float where do they float in the atmosphere in the space between earth and absolute space they float so what is deciding the position of the causal body it is the imprints that are there so as long as the imprints are there the causal body is earth bound and when these imprints are shifted to the strong genetic centers which come near it with the dead body magrishi explains why we have developed a custom of inviting all the and it is uh, a duty of all the relatives kith and kins to see pay their respects to the departed body and when it goes to the body around them near them the magnetic attraction what resonates with your own genetic center they come out and get attracted to the person who is nearby living person nearby so they are shared in this way the density the quantum of imprints or getting distributed as and where it moves so if it is moving like that at one time or other it may be free the causal body may be free of the imprints and it will free the absolute space in the center and that will merge with the totality the micro meets the not macro so that is the ultimate end of the journey of uh, the consciousness of a particular individual which goes from layer to layer because of the imprints that are present depending upon if the imprints are more they are in saloka and if it is becoming less they become little bit away from the earth and that samib and still further it is uh, uh, sarubam and sayujyam so these four stages are given only to explain the way the level where the departed causal body at times with astral body floats and ultimately gets liberated if you take only the energy particles they dissolve immediately there is no stages but if you take the imprints along with the causal body it goes step by step and the experiences of that imprints affecting the living beings joining the living beings is also experienced when you observe the society when the people so this is uh, my understanding satyamurthy ayya you are senior to me you are senior professor you are seen the same uh, thing only explained yeah. in a different way that's all uh, i will uh, uh, explain in a simple way yes i will tell i will tell you in a simple way that is please 
when you are in material consciousness your thoughts are around the uh, yes. uh, material earth only, earth only when you do the turiya tit you are merging with the almighty space book so the, uh, the stages are there you, you say oh, what all the stages are in between only when living itself not after death and uh, suppose now i am planning to uh, b- prepare one uh, bomb so i will think how to make and how, how how powerful is this how many people i can kill and all this thought will merge with the universal consciousness or you know universal magnetism it is there imprints and it is in the energy particle only and suppose a one the energy man particle from another, pardon uh, i would like particle. you to differ i would like you to differentiate the particle uh, from the energy magnetism particle one particle is a, is a different there. state it is a different no, no, state it is electromagnetic wave only without energy particle magnetism We- when it becomes when the particle becomes electromagnetic wave it is magnetism ah. mm. the particle since particle it is a continuous it exists separately it is the, together only it is no the energy which is taken from the absolute space self surrounding ah. self compressive yeah. surrounding pressure force yeah that immediately has, it will that, become that, that, that has, electromagnetic See, so there is, it is for this our process, convenience we, for understanding uh, for our we, understanding only we are differentiating electricity is different yes, yes, yes. magnetism is different but yes. there is no such all are same it is all electromagnetic same. that's all one once uh, one energy particle is rotating either it will uh, repel or attract that is a uh, nature so magnetism will be there so you can say universal magnetism there it is imprinted you can say what you are thinking when you are living it is all imprinted in the universal magnetism so what all research you do a magan is researching about almighty i am researching for a bomb so everything is imprinted when people are tuning the tuned wave alone will merge them and support that and they get all answers from the universe if you want to know about almighty if you think magrishi he is supporting you if you uh, think of tiruvalluvar he will support you they are no more but their imprints are there in the universal magnetism so immediately after uh, death it merges with yeah. that all yeah, the even, imprints are there me, yeah after that death as you said while living itself the thoughts living one, itself what yeah, you are living you are saying Marishi that says, Marishi says, thought comes it will imprint in the universal magnetism that's the concept yes. right uh, so after and, uh, <laughs> see the difference between the magnetism in the universal magnetism and biomagnetism is the biomagnetism is circulating circulating focal point with, with, with a focal point of the genetic center oh. and these waves this field of genetic center has intensification in the center and oh. rarefaction in the periphery only at the center they are compressed to form a knot to become an imprint without the genetic center imprints are not formed the magnetic waves are there they won't coil round to become genes or dna so for the dna to develop you need a spinning system only when you are in the spinning system the attractive force and repulsive force 
affect acts to a great extent and significant level in this space they are not the the spin of the universal magnetism is too big it is something like the sun going round the galaxy within the galaxy so which is beyond the uh, the impact we are is not perceptible too subtle to manifest so there is difference between the waves magnetic waves in the universal magnetism and magnetic waves in the biomagnetic field so both are different so everything changes according to the location that is where the uh, awareness the consciousness works the consciousness works differently in different places but following a general universal manifestation so i think time is up that uh, <laughs> so we will just, uh, just right or right or uh, so uh, when you say that there are no layers it merges directly it refers to the energy particles when it is according to the layers it refers to the magnetic imprints hmm. so both are existing in our own uh, field in our own uh, atmosphere so not a made big difference between the two it is only the place from which you operate that gives a different meanings that's all so with this understanding i think we will uh, continue continue independent individually okay you okay. both okay. will meet and discuss but okay. in the forum we will uh, conclude here so okay. vijay lakshmi amma uh, if the audience if the participants if you have any comments uh, any queries you raise them we will conclude the session very brief soon without taking much time any comments here is i have one only one question uh, so what if the person who died as the desire before he died he has some desire what will happen to that desire if it is merging completely to the so that is what that is what you uh, feel the experience intense desire to look after the child of a mother the mother's soul doesn't leave it is uh, uh, driven by the desire and which is imprinted in the astral causal bodies though they remain in the same place in the same house along with the child its own child and that impact is appreciated by many and it is real and once the desire dissipates energy goes off then the mother soul is free to uh, move about or until then depending upon that it is there the father of the nation mahatma gandhi even though he is an uh, with all the jnana he couldn't leave this country he is there even though magrishi is the liberated and he has while he was living during his lifetime itself he has experienced his oneness with absolute space but this oneness which is spreading all over the universe along with the absolute space if it has any magnetism left with it will respond to the call so even though he fully liberated if you 
demand anything from him he comes to you to help to enlighten you to explain to you to bring clarity to you so he has universal as well as local experience that is divinity illane ullane everything put together so with this i think we will conclude uh, you can conclude vijay lakshmi all the all the all the thank you maya we conclude with your blessings A wonderful discussion today thank you so much maya all the great uh, senior professors satyamurthy ayya chennier ayya madhamahanaya thank you thank you so much the wonderful session today let us conclude uh, the world blessings may the world be blessed with plenty of rain the farmers work to produce an abundance of rain let practitioners of all prosper flourish and grow and culture progress through the need to share and grow let the rulers be beyond feelings of anger or fear illiteracy poverty and all evils made to disappear let the true lamp of knowledge burn steady and bright our sense of duty guide us along paths always right உலகமெல்லாம் பருவமழை ஒத்தபடி பெய்யட்டும் உழவரெல்லாம் தானியத்தை ஒப்புடனே பெருக்கட்டும் பல தொழில்கள் புரிகின்ற பாட்டாளி உயரட்டும் பகுத்துணர்வில் தொகுத்துணர்வு பண்பாட்டை உயர்த்தட்டும் கலகங்கள் போட்டி பகை கடந்தாட்சி நடக்கட்டும் கல்லாமை கடன் வறுமை கலங்கங்கள் மறையட்டும் நலவாழ்வை அளிக்கும் மெய் ஞானஒளி வீசட்டும் நம் கடமை அறவாழ்வின் நாட்டத்தையே சிறக்கட்டும் நம் கடமை அறவாழ்வின் நாட்டத்தையே சிறக்கட்டும் நம் கடமை அறவாழ்வின் நாட்டத்தே சிறக்கட்டும் வாழ்க வையகம் வாழ்க வையகம் வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன்